Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at Zor Subscribe 2017 in San Francisco. You know, I go to these events a lot. We love to talk to customers and clients, and there's just some customers that are a little bit more personal than others. And this is one here. That's We're great. really excited to have Ken Kornick on. He's the co-founder, president, and CFO, a busy guy, of Clear, or affectionately known as Clear, Clear Me, in the, in the Twitter Clear sphere. ClearMe.com, so, that's Ken, right. Ken, great to meet you in person. Nice to meet you as well. So Thanks a, for your... Uh, your support as I a customer. I say, I'm, a, I'm an unabashed, happy customer. That's great. I, I, except when you get the nasty looks from people when they escort you, wow. pass them all in the You know, everybody line. can be a clear member uh, if they, they want. Exactly. You know? So first And off, we give free trials, so they don't have to pay. Yes, what do you miss? So, well, where'd you come up with the idea? And just give us a little bit of the history for so, people that aren't familiar with Actually, Claire. we don't have a, a not invented here mentality. We actually bought the business out of bankruptcy. Oh, that's right. It, it was, was completely shut down. I actually ran down. into someone the other day at the airport. She said, I had Clear before, and then it went it, then it went right. away, and then she was so happy you brought it back. Right, and and for our, we call them legacy members that were members of the old company. Uh, we give their time back for free. So, I shouldn't say free because they paid for it. So, if you had a year remaining when the old company went under, we'll honor that year and you can use Clear for a year without paying, and then uh, you know, hopefully you'll continue to, right, to, right. to pay us as an ongoing customer. And, and what people maybe don't know or not as familiar with is it's not just for airports anymore. Uh, I was so thrilled right. not that long ago, I went to a, a Giants game at AT&T, and I see the, yep. the Clear Me sign. That's right, so we're in eight stadiums uh, across the, the country with more to come. Uh, I live in New York, so we have Yankees and Mets, which Good. makes me happy. Good. Um, I'm a Yankee fan, my kids are Mets fans, so we're, we're covered there. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're looking to increase the number of places you can use Clear and to increase value add to our members. So the more you use it, the, you know, the, more, the happier you'll be and the longer you'll stay with us. Right, and how do you describe the service? Is it identity as a service? which is something that just popped into my mind. How do you describe what Clear's all about? Funny enough, we do talk about identity as a service, not relative to the airport business. The airport business is what we're known for, but really we bought the business out of bankruptcy and we started it to become an, a biometric identity platform. Our view is we want to remove friction wherever identity is important. Up until now, anytime you want to increase security, it diminishes the consumer experience. Right. And so we think you know, our technology can, can change all that. We can increase security while making better consumer experiences, as you witnessed in the, the Giants, in <laughs> Nothing, the Giants or, game. Uh, or the Orlando Airport, right. which is my favorite so, clear airport. So we are expanding in the airport, but we're also looking to expand outside of the airport, even beyond the stadiums. So things like uh, the payment applications, there could be healthcare applications in the future. We're building a biometric ecosystem. Right. You've enrolled in Clear once, you can use that enrollment wherever we are. God, I can imagine you could integrate with, with access, you know, building access That's points, exactly all these right. types of things. That's exactly right. Yeah. So there's smart cities, there's smart cars. Right. All of those applications have biometric uh, angles to them. So uh, good, good space to be in, good move. We think but, so. But we're here at Soror, subscribe. So you guys chose to have a subscription relationship with your customers. Right. So why? And, and what are some of the things that have come out of that that you've learned, both kind of surprises mm -hmm. as well as kind of validations? Well, we're, we're big believers in the subscription economy, which is the sort of buzzword here. But for us, we want Clear members to not have to think about it. Part of the draw of Clear is obviously you're saving time in the airport, but it's also the mentality of no stress going to the airport. So I flew out of JFK the other day at a 7 a.m. flight, I live downtown, and I woke up at 5.15 for a 7 a.m. flight, knowing I could get through JFK, through the clear lane in five minutes or less. That change in behavior is the true value add that once our members experience that, right. they, they love the service. And so I don't want you to have to think about, well, it's a monthly, am I active, am I not active? It's an annual, once a year subscription, you pay it, you don't worry about it again until uh, you renew the year later. Yeah, that's funny too that you put it in kind of an experience point of view, because it is the experience, it is, it is. we just had the, the no stress guy put a thing on the back of your head. You could get the clear <laughs> card and that'll lower your stress on the way Absolutely. to the airport quite a bit, because you just never know what's waiting for you at those You, you never lines. know, and it could be five minutes, it could be 30 minutes, and that uncertainty causes you to carve out a bunch of your time ahead of getting to the airport. You know that you can you know, look at ways and see what the traffic is, you know you can check online to see what kind of uh, delays there are you know, for your flight, but you just don't know what's going to happen at security check. Right, right. It's the last frontier. So, um, any special exciting new places that you want to highlight before we, uh, before we have to go? Sure, uh, so we, you know, we started in 2010 with two airports, Denver and Orlando were our first two airports back. Um, we've been growing fairly rapidly and we are about to open our 22nd airport 
in about a week to 10 days, and that's Los Angeles, which is a huge oh, airport. Oh, you're not in Los Angeles. We're not in Los Angeles okay. yet. So that is a, a big piece of the network for us, and um, especially if you're in Bay Area based, really, really important. Right. God, how many terminals do you have to go? Because you guys big, do it kind of terminal by terminal, we, right? Yeah, we're going to be ubiquitous in, in LA. Besides the international terminal, we'll be in seven checkpoints, I believe. It's a very big operation, All right. uh, a, a big undertaking. Well, Ken, like I say, I'm an unabashed fan, so I won't pretend to be biased at all. Love the service. and great, uh, thank you so much. And, uh, and, and congratulations, and again, you know, great opportunities to go way beyond the Thanks airport. Thanks for hosting me. All right, my pleasure. Ken Cornick, I'm Jeff Frick. He's from Clear Me, I'm from theCUBE. Thanks for watching.